This locomotive is an icon of New Mexico history. It was built in 1944 in Eddystone, Pennsylvania. It ran a million miles for the Santa Fe, carrying passengers, troop trains, and freight. Uh, weighs a million pounds and was rated at 100 miles an hour. It was probably the pinnacle of the steam designer's art, built with slide rule technologies long before computers were used to design this sort of thing. Our restoration actually began in 1997 when the organization was founded. We pulled the locomotive out of Coronado Park, where she had sat for 44 years, slowly rusting away. She was just a derelict. She was destined, as all of the other 2900s were, for the razor blade factory. So we began our restoration, lovingly taking each piece, pipes, valves, components, overhauling them, replacing them, and then putting them back on the locomotive to restore her to her former glory. Part of the restoration involved removing almost three miles of boiler piping and completely replacing it. We had to completely replace the lagging on the, on the boiler because asbestos is no longer permitted. We replaced or restored almost a thousand of these stay bolts that hold the firebox in the boiler. The 2926 is an extremely complex piece of machinery, and the wheels are actually pushed by 700 degrees superheated steam. So this is a powerful locomotive, produces almost 5,000 horsepower. These wheels are amazing. They're 80 inches in diameter. The thing was built for speed. 100 miles an hour was the rated speed. The bearings, this bearing weighs 370 pounds. Controlling this locomotive, a million pounds at 100 miles an hour, requires a real finesse by the engineer who's sitting here and the fireman who sits over there. The tender alone holds 24,500 gallons of water. The boiler holds 6,000 gallons of water. So this thing has to be controlled very carefully, requires a lot of finesse between the engineer and the fireman who provides the steam and the air. This is where the fireman sits. Fireman controls the fuel and the air and steam from these various manifolds to help the engineer operate the locomotive. He maintains a fire in the firebox between 1800 and 2700 degrees Fahrenheit, which means he has to be very careful about keeping water over the firebox so that it doesn't melt. These gauges all help him do that. There are gauges for flow, for water. There are gauges for pressure and level in the boiler. These are real important and the fireman is not really a secondary person. He's just as important as the engineer. One of the most important aspects of a steam locomotive is maintaining the water supply. This tender is huge, holds 24,500 gallons of water, like a modern swimming pool. That water is critical to maintaining steam, of course, but also keeping the firebox covered. It evaporates 100 gallons a minute of water at 60 miles an hour. One of the remarkable things about this restoration is how the community both the community of Albuquerque and the railroad community across the country have come together to support this. We've got about 200,000 volunteer man hours in this project. 
bringing engineers out of retirement who had worked on this originally. When we ran it in July, just back and forth here, people were so excited. People were crying because it was the first time in 66 years this gal had run on her own steam. And the engineer said he didn't like moving it back and forth here. He said it was like driving a Corvette in a parking garage. This locomotive wants to be back on the main line pulling passengers. From a personal point of view, I really feel a relationship. It's almost like she's got a personality. When I come down and see this locomotive, it just, it just makes me happy. It's something that's an icon of engineering. It reflects the history of how we made this nation great. And railroads are so important to the history of New Mexico. They essentially open New Mexico to the rest of the country. This locomotive is very special, not only to the people who work on it every week and have been doing it for 20 years, but to the people of New Mexico, because it represents a critical aspect of our history. And we here at the 2926 are so proud of her. And not only that, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. <laughs>